since the emergency use authorization was granted, our colleges, so the American College of OBGYN, the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine, have been very firm in recommending that pregnant women have access to the vaccine, that if they so choose, they should be able to get the vaccine. And certainly, um, due to the vaccine, the baby should not be exposed to the virus itself. And we know that the vaccine is the, the genetic code for a single protein, it doesn't replicate in a person. It doesn't cause an infection with COVID-19. So there's no virus floating around in a woman. And any, any vaccine that has a live virus that's replicating is not used in pregnant women because of any theoretical risk. This is not in that bucket. This isn't a whole virus. It's not a replicating virus. It's a very limited amount of code. And we don't think there's any risk at all that this would one, cause an infection in the pregnant woman, and two, cause an infection that goes to the baby. Because this is an emergency use authorization, and because any medication or vaccine during its first iteration of trials is never tested in pregnant women, we don't have direct evidence of the safety in pregnancy. What we do have is a lack of theoretical evidence of harm so there really is not a conceivable reason why this vaccine should be harmful to pregnant women. We know none of the components of the vaccines, the nanoparticles are known to be harmful in pregnancy. Our best evidence is we think the vaccine is a lot safer than getting COVID for pregnant women. We have no indication that it's harmful, damaging to the woman who's breastfeeding or to the infant. There's been a pretty sophisticated anti-vaccine campaign that originated online. The New York Times had a great article about it, going through the levels of disinformation and where it came from. And it sounds very scientific. And it goes something like this. There's a protein in the placenta that has similarities to viruses. And if you have antibodies to viruses that are induced by this vaccine, it will cause you to have miscarriages and the pregnancy to not implant in your uterus. This is completely made up. Okay, this is completely made up. It sounds very smart. It's based in molecular biology. It's written by a scientist, but it's fundamentally not true. There's no evidence of this happening and to really uh, take us one step further, if that were true, then women who had COVID-19, which has been millions of women now, would be more likely to have miscarriages and not get pregnant because they would have those same antibodies because it's the identical gene producing the identical kinds of antibodies in the virus infection and in the vaccine, okay? So you have the same antibodies, yet, in women who have had COVID-19, who've had other viral infections with even more homology to this protein that's theorized. We're not seeing any signal for increased miscarriages or decreased fertility. So I wanna say that one more time. This is a very sophisticated scientific sounding campaign that was purposefully put out on the internet to, to prevent women especially from getting this vaccine. It's not based in truth and it's doing some significant harm. We want everyone to continue social distancing. We want everyone to continue masking. All, all of those things that we're telling everybody apply to pregnant women, lactating women, women who are contemplating a pregnancy. We, we don't have formal recommendations yet. My personal recommendation to my personal patients, knowing how good this vaccine is at preventing the infection and how dangerous the infection is in pregnancy is that women keep on their contraception, go through the vaccine series, and then contemplate conception because we know that the vaccine is effective.